The prison used to take up the whole block. In 1993, over half the old prison was demolished, and a shopping high rise was built. The main entry in the adjoining prison block was preserved. Much of the museum is devoted to the French period of control, when communist prisoners were jailed here. We are interested in the period in the 1960s early 70s when captured American airmen were incarcerated in the prison. All of the prison was used by the POWs, the prisoners gave nicknames to different sections. It was a strong jail, with solid stone or masonry walls 13 feet high, topped with glass and high voltage wires. Guard watch houses provided views within and outside the jail. Conditions were terrible. Food was watery soup and bread. Prisoners were isolated, in solitary confinement, at times for years. They were starved, beaten, and tortured for countless hours. There are two rooms dedicated to the American POWs, but the museum provides a rosy picture of what happened here. The displays depict comfortable rooms where inmates enjoyed Christmas dinner, and played basketball. Today's display area, back then was known as the dreaded Blue Room, where new prisoners were interrogated and tortured if they didn't comply. John McCain, was imprisoned here on and off from 1967 to 1973, he later told of his experiences, in his book Faith of My Fathers. In February 1973, agreement was reached to release the prisoners. A Navy pilot, Everett Alvarez, spent over eight years in captivity, making him the second longest held American POW in history. Over the years many of the old inmates, have returned to visit the museum. Thank you. 